Hey everyone, how's it going? We're back with another video. Today, oh. Hola, como están? <laughs> Today we're gonna be eating Taco Bell. Um, I know I had a lot of requests for Taco Bell and I saw on the commercial yesterday that they had these new rattlesnake fries that um, it's just the nacho fries with cheese, steak, and jalapenos. But I mean, I mean, this is for like my dog, Oreo. I mean, it's such a small portion. <laughs> Qué poquititos, ¿verdad? Huh? They made it look all... I thought it was going to be like this big. Anyway, Cesar got himself four Crunchy Taco Supreme. I got me the Powerball menu with no rice, so it just has beans, chicken, guacamole, sour cream, lettuce, cheese. Did I say cheese already? I don't know. Pico de gallo. So that's what I'm gonna be eating. And he just got his regular tacos. Mijo, ¿le puedes bajar poquito? Gonna put some mild sauce on my, I went and I was like, how do you call this? I was like, can I get a Powerball? <laughs> and then I was like, no, that's the lottery. And I forgot to say power menu bowl. That's what it's called. But yeah, I've had this before. This is really good. I like it. Mmm. I just want to try these fries. I want to make sure I get a jalapeno. You know what? I'm going to use my fork. I want to get a good bite. Oh. It has jalapeno and a piece of steak on there. I'm just going to try them. Mmm. <laughs> Las papas saben viejas. The fries taste old. They're like not even warm. They taste like they've been there for a long time. Anywho, back to my Powerball. Oh look! Me salió un pedazo de aguacate entero. Se pegó piso de aguacate. But yeah, so that's how it is, folks. Mm -hmm. That one? Mm -hmm. Those are Cesar's mm -hmm. favorite tacos, ¿verdad? Que son sus tacos favoritos del. Oh no, 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 mentiras. Mm -hmm. I'm lying. I'm a liar. His favorite tacos are the naked chalupas, and we call them las chalupas encueradas mm. in Spanish. Oh my God, those chalupas are so good. Chalupas are have always been my favorite food from Taco Bell. Like the chalupas and I add, I add nacho cheese to them. And then it came out with the naked ones. If you don't know what it is, it's just a chalupa and instead of like the bread or whatever, the I don't even know what it is. It's chicken, like the shell is just made out of chicken. And they're so good. And in the middle it has nothing, just lettuce and this cream sauce. That one at a <laughs> But yeah, those are so good. But yeah, did you guys think we weren't gonna upload no more because we were gone for like a few days? <laughs> we took advantage of the time that he doesn't work to make videos. He didn't work today because it's raining, so we made a video. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. I actually bought myself stuff to make this. Like I bought lettuce, I have my chicken, I bought I bought black beans, I got my salsa, my cheese, my sour cream, everything to make this. And I was gonna make it, but I was like, why make it when you can go order it? At Taco Bell. <laughs> I only ordered it because 
I really wanted to try the snake fries and you know, he's been wanting those crunchy tacos. So I'm like, I'm just gonna get my power bowl. Oh, oh, yeah. But yeah. These snake fries are like almost three dollars. I mean, it's not bad if you think about it because it has steak in it, but I mean, it's like two fries in there. Buenos tacos. Yesterday I made mole And I think I want to do a video on it I got requested to do a mukma a, muk, a mukmang <laughs> A mole video a long time ago Long time ago And I never made it So yesterday I made mole And you know We have like a whole bunch left And then we just put it in the yelera You know when you're ready to cook it You can even freeze it And then just reheat it when you're ready to eat it it's crazy, but that's what we do. So I have some there, and I was like, man, I should do a mole video since I have it. So I think I might do one um, right after this one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> like maybe later today or tomorrow. I don't know, but I sh I will be doing a mole video. And if you don't know what mole is, it's like a Mexican dish. It's like a thick red sauce with chicken in it, and it's a little spicy. And the one we make is sweet, like. We add sugar to it, like it's a little bit sweet. No, pues con razón. Que le echamos azúcar al mole, pues con razón estamos como estamos. But that's how my mom always made it. But yeah, so I want to make a video about mole. I don't know if I'll do it with Cesar. ¿Tú quieres hacer video del mole? Mole. Ya después. Porque me pidieron un video de mole hace mucho tiempo y nunca lo hice. Se me hace que nunca he hecho un video de mole. So I don't know guys, I don't know. I wanted to try the orange cream. You know the drink, the, I don't know what they're called. Like Breeze or something at Taco Bell. Cause I, when we were little, I loved eating the orange cream popsicles. We would stay at my aunt's house when we first moved up here and they always had a pack of those. We would eat them every day, like three a day. Man, they were so good. And I saw the drink and I'm like, I want to try it, but I didn't get it because, <clears throat> well, I just, I didn't want to get it today. Maybe another time I'll try it, but it looks really good. And I tried their caramel apple too when they came out, like a long time ago, like for Halloween. And that one was really good too. Get another? See? Para darte una cochara. <laughs> this power chicken bowl is five seventy nine. That's probably how much everything cost me to make this. I bought a big bag of um chicken thighs at Winkle for a dollar. It was like a dollar something and I was like, and I looked at the date and I'm like, is this going to be expired or something? And it wasn't. I mean, I don't know why it was on special, so I bought me that chicken and everything else was like a dollar too. So yeah, I'm going to start selling chicken bowls. <laughs> I don't like the guacamole though. It's just weird. It doesn't taste like homemade. The one. La que tengo yo? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Es la que siempre agarro, nomás que esta vez les dije que no arroz. Que siento que con arroz me llena más rápido. Mmm, me sé que eso está bueno de las papas. That nacho cheese. I know I mentioned in a Taco Bell video before that I love Taco Bell's nacho cheese. If you ever get a chalupa, tell them to add nacho cheese. It is the best thing you're ever going to taste in your life. Let me tell you that right now. <clears throat> But uh, they used to, not anymore, they used to have the option, they had like a Santa Fe Chalupa, a Nacho Cheese Chalupa, and a Chalupa Supreme. So when I tried the Nacho Cheese Chalupa, I fell in love and they stopped selling them like that. So now you have to ask for a Chalupa 
and add nacho cheese like that's what i do that's what i used to do but every time we would go to taco bell that was the main thing i would get two chalupas with nacho cheese and then like two crunchy taco supreme or like maybe like the dollar burritos that they had sometimes but man i was like addicted to their chalupas like and he tried them and he was like god those are good i'm like yes they are yes they are but he usually gets like the girl stuff burrito like the carne asada Oye, no, no quisiste su burrito ahora. Se te andaban los taquitos. Están en las papas. It's funny how um, when you can't eat, cuando uno no puede comer, you kind of try to get the other person to eat stuff that you want. Like this, I wanted it, and I'm like, oh, you know, you should try these. Eh, hey, you should try these. I mean, not like all the time, but sometimes, you know, I give them food and all that, and I just watch them eat, like, enjoy the food. Vaya, que compramos unos tacos, están bien sabrosos. Bien buenos. I know. Y disfruten los tacos. Ajá, en soja. Taco Bell was one of my favorite restaurants. La deliciosa pexi. That's cool. Y la deliciosa pexi. I say Taco Bell was one of my favorite restaurants and McDonald's. Those two. I just love Taco Bell. Ahí tengo el plato, mi vida. Somebody requested that Cesar make a video by himself. Que quieren que hagas el video que te estaba diciendo hace rato, que querían que tú lo hicieras solo. Maybe bring the hermano. Because they want to hear his side of the story, like when he met me and what he thought of me and how he fell in love and all that. Obviously, it would be in Spanish. Um, I don't put subtitles. I know I've been asked, but it's it's too hard. It's way too hard. I mean, I don't know if there's an option where it just automatically pops up, but I mean, I, I guess I need to look at it or look into it. But for me to like physically sit there and translate everything is, is too much. So I don't think I can do that, but yeah, if he does do that video, it's going to be just him speaking Spanish. Well, duh, he can't speak English, but... No, no English. <laughs> no English. He's funny. Pero dijeron muchas que qué bueno por ti que quieres hablar en inglés, que tratas de hablar en inglés. When I met him, he not he didn't speak not one word English. Instead of saying what, he would say where. And I'm like, where what? <laughs> like, and now he knows how to speak more. Like I teach him. My kids only speak English to him, so like, not even my son might say a few words in Spanish, like "si" sí, or "quiero más" or "pedo." <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so I mean he has to learn and I tell him you need to learn like one day I cannot be here I'm like what are you gonna do you know you need to learn and I know some people are like this is America learn English but they say it in a rude way and I don't mean it like that I mean like you know it's just it's very helpful for you to speak both languages you know what I mean or just the main language here and nobody better come on my comments talking crap about this and that like I've, I've had a few racist people on here probably watching me right now but uh <clears throat> yeah because if you if you leave comments that are dumb I, I usually just delete them i mean if you've left them in the past and you've noticed it's not theirs because i deleted it because i have the power <laughs> but yeah so i do tell him that he needs to learn english you know it's just he needs to he has to he lives here you know like I said, if one day something happens to me, like hopefully not, like what is he gonna do? He has two English speaking kids that go to an English school. Everything here is English. And where we live, it's not like California where you see Mexicans everywhere. No, here it's like, when we first moved here, it was all white people. Like, no, nah, not that it's a bad thing, but you know, it was uncomfortable because I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't know, like all these people, you know, because I grew up in LA and I was so used to like having Mexican friends and everything. So, you know, you go to the stores and it's just like, you don't really see Hispanic people, you know, or people that speak Spanish. So that's why I tell him you need to learn because, you know, if I'm not here, you can communicate with everybody. So he knows more. Like I say? No sé qué dijiste. 
Digo que te digo que, que deberías de aprender inglés porque pues todo aquí casi son puros americanos, donde quiera que vamos. Oh, no. Y digo que si algún día yo no estoy, que algo me llegara a pasar, tienes dos niños que nomás hablan a I mí mean, en inglés. ¿Y tú qué vas a hacer? No te puedes comunicar con las maestras ni nada. It's just helpful, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not telling you to be perfect English like me. Just kidding. <laughs> but, you know, to learn and understand. But I know he will, because when my mom and dad moved up here, well, moved to the United States, they didn't speak any English at all. Like, nothing. And right now, I talk to my dad in English. I talk to my mom in Spanish. I mean, in Spanish. In English, too. And, you know, they understand. They talk back to me in English. You know, they know everything. They're embarrassed to speak, especially my dad, but they know it. They learn it. So I'm eh, pretty la, sure he'll learn it. Too. Así, María, eh? Excuse me, teacher. Yo seré el papá de Emily. <laughs> hey, ¿qué estás haciendo? Aquí pedazos de carnes buenas. Hello. Uh, sí, ya no, sé. mm -mm. no stay goes to waste in this house. No, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're done. Oh my god, look enormous next to him. But yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you like my little story time about learning how to speak English. <laughs> it's funny because somebody said that they like my accent. I didn't know I had an accent. I thought I, I spoke like perfect English, but now I'm playing. I know I have an accent. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below if you liked the video. If you didn't, it's okay. You can still let me know in a nice way. ¿Qué? ¿Ya quién quieres que te hable? Me un teléfono para la carne asada. Ay, digas con la carne asada. But anyways, yeah, let me know. Um, request. You know, I love reading through the comments. Even though sometimes I don't answer, I love reading the comments. And when you guys tell me you guys want to see something, it'll give me ideas. So just let me know. And yeah, we will see you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye. Esto no lo va a tirar, esto todo lo voy a dar porque ya tú sabes, chico, ya no puedes darme. <risa>